dear students in this video i am going to show how to design the dollar bar system for the given values for the given parameters so given parameters are thickness of the cc slab as h is equal to 30 cm young's modulus e is equal to 3 into 10 power 5 cm kg per cm square poisson's ratio nu equal to 0. Point, mu equal to 0. 0.15 V load capital P is equal to 5100 kg capital K which is <coughs> which is modulus of subgrade reaction 6.5 kg per centimeter square from all these values E mu and K are the standards mu and E are the standards and remaining are the remaining constants will be changed next joint spacing Z equal to 2.0 as given in the question what is joint spacing z suppose the length of the pavement as 15 meters and the available bars are of length 12 meters and you need more 3 meters to join it uh, by join, for joining these 12 meters and 3 meters of length of uh, bars we need spacing so that spacing is considered as the joint spacing to take the load and transfer it to the base okay next fs uh, permissible shear stress is given in the question as 1000 kg per centimeter square permissible bending stress ff is given as 1400 kg per centimeter square permissible bearing stress fb f small b suffix as 100 kg per centimeter square now step 1 we have to calculate dwell length how assume dwell diameter as d is equal to 2.5 centimeters the length of dwell embedded in concrete is given by the formula small r equal to 5d into fs by fb into r plus 1.5 z by r plus 8.8 z whole power 1 by 2 by solving it mathematically we will get the value for r which is constant we have to calculate for the r in centimeters we will get now we will calculate dwell length capital l this this r is length of dwell embedded in concrete okay now we will uh, from that we, we we can calculate dwell length capital l equal to r plus z we have the values we will get length in centimeters no. step 2 next step is calculation of load transfer capacity of single dwell now in this we have to calculate load for shear load for bending load for bearing we have the formula for uh, shear ps equal to 0 0.785 d square fs we have the values we will substitute we will get in kgs next we have the formula for bending pb is equal to 2d cube fs by r plus 8.8 z we have the values we will substitute we will get in terms of kgs we have the formula for bending bearing pb is equal to fc r square d by 12.5 into r plus 1.5 z we have the values we will substitute we will get in terms of kgs now after calculating the load for shear bending and bearing we have the statement as per IRC 58 2002 it is states that it is observed that the bearing stress in concrete in concrete is responsible for the performance of the joints for the dwell bar so keep bearing load due to bearing as the constant we have to see between the load due to shear load due to bearing as uh, compared between them which is less than uh, the bearing load we have to consider for the design of the dwell so in this comparison we get the bending uh, load due to bending as less than the shear and less than the bearing so we are taking bending uh, load due to bending as the value for uh, least value for design of dwell if you want you can refer page number 26 and 27 of IRC 58 2002. Next, 
Step third will be capacity factor calculation of capacity factor required for the dual system. We have the formula P R by F C. We have the values we can substitute. We will get in terms of kgs. Now we will calculate the required capacity factor. Small n equal to load transfer capacity of the dual bar system divided by load transfer capacity of a single dual bar. We have the values we will substitute. We will get in terms of like this. Next. Step four will be spacing of dual bar. As you know, the formula we have, as I have shown in the earlier uh, video also, like L equal to uh, fourth root of e h cube by 2 l k into 1 minus mu square. We will substitute and uh, we'll get length in terms of centimeter every time. Next, effective load transfer will be calculated by the formula T D small T D equal to 1.8 l. We have calculated value for l. We have to multiply it with the factor 1.8. We will get in terms of centimeters. Now, I am. We are assuming that the spacing S as 35 centimeter. Okay. Now, we have to calculate the available capacity factor. Now, the formula for that is 1 plus T D minus S by T D. For calculating available capacity factor, we have to take the three times of the spacing. Like, uh, for example, 1 plus This is the value I am getting here for effective load transfer minus 35. I am assuming in second uh, step in this only we I have to square it next cube of it means one time two time three times 35 70 one not five we have to take after calculating all this value add add up we will get so and so value now this after getting this one important point is. We have to check the value of available capacity factor with the required capacity factor. Between this, which is should be more means available capacity factor should be more than the required capacity factor, which we have calculated. Otherwise, if this value means available capacity uh, factor value comes less than the required capacity factor, we have to increase the spacing. As 40 or 45, so on, uh, and then we have to do the same procedure till it comes. Means available capacity factor should come more than the required capacity factor. So our uh, uh, design will be uh, over after getting this value more than the. And uh, I have shown uh, the types of bars. And design of uh, tie bar and dual bar. How to design by using uh, code books and in the concept I have also shown in the earlier videos. If you want, you can check through that. I hope you understand this uh, design method uh, clearly. So if you have uh, any doubt, you can um, com comment me in my comment box and you can mail. Uh, so I hope you understood it. Thank you. I will. Uh, Uh, send uh, link in my description box of earlier video if you want. Thank you.